During medical school, when I was a senior, I was out with a group of friends. And we were playing that game where you ask a yes, no question, trying to figure out the scenario, right? And so the scenario is a boy comes into the emergency room. He's badly injured. The surgeon walks in and says, I can't operate on this boy because he's my son. But the surgeon is not the boy's father. What's the answer to the question? The answer to the question, of course, is that the surgeon is the boy's mother. Six women going into surgery could not figure out that that surgeon was a gal. And that really made a <laughs> dent in my mind because I thought, that's something that's really got to change. That should be an obvious question. I remember being a little girl and saying, girls can't be doctors, you know, that's too bad. I think that's what I want to do when I was four or five. And I think a lot of gals might get scared away because they feel like they have to be a guy to fit in with the group. There's no question women are underrepresented in orthopedics. I think there lingers a perception that you have to be strong to go into orthopedics. There's a little bit of a boys club mentality that uh, women are boxed out of it. It is not without difficulty. Any medical field is, but it's doable and it's so rewarding. I think that women should get into orthopedics because women are good at orthopedics. Women have really great engineering minds and that may not have always been supported in our culture, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. The fact is, yeah, you need to be strong and fit, but you don't have to be Arnold Schwarzenegger to do orthopedics. Dr. Carroll was the first woman that I uh, met here and I knew immediately that she was the kind of person that I wanted to work with. Um, she has managed to balance a very successful academic career, which is something that very few women can say in orthopedics. She has an incredible family um, that she certainly makes a priority, and she does it all very gracefully. The reason I ultimately chose ortho, I think, is not only because it was really wonderful and it's this team environment, um, but it's incredibly creative. I operate on elbows, and I operate on knees, and I operate on hips, and I operate on feet, and um, I take care of children of all different ages, and I take care of families, and I take care of syndromes, and for me, the best part of being an orthopedic physician is watching people get better. You know, like seeing a kid walk for the first time. Moms go, it's okay, and I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying through. But um, taking kids out of pain. I look at Dr. Carroll as a role model. The compassion that she has for her patients, the love that she has for her job, it just kind of radiates from her. And I'm not saying that every woman should go into orthopedics, but simply that if you think you're attracted to the field, you should seek out mentorship, you should seek out opportunities, and decide if this is the right thing for you. Find a good mentor, realize that it's a wonderful career, um, it's incredibly creative, and there really is no obstacle to women becoming orthopedic surgeons, except perhaps our own perception of ourselves. Um, I think that can change.